So how is the housing market doing in the Inland Empire? Let's talk about the latest numbers on the housing market in the Inland Empire and be sure and stay to the end to find out what those numbers mean. Year over year, the number of new listings decreased 33% from 4,400 to 2,937. Last month's report for year over year showed a 38% decrease from 4,927 to 3,052. Pending sales decreased 6% from 2,809 to 2,621. Last month's report showed a decrease of 11%. The median sales price year over year increased 1.7% from $590,000 to $600,000. Last month's report showed a 1.6% decrease. Days on market decreased 15% from 13 to 11. Last month's report showed an increase of 10% from 10 to 11. For year to date, new listings decreased 35% from 30,482 to 19,602 when compared to the same time frame in 2022. Pending sales decreased 22% from 22,859 to 17,869 when compared to 2022. Median sales price decreased 3% when compared to the same period last year from $600,000 to $580,000. Sold to list price decreased 2.2% from 102.23% to 100%. This means that the price of a home sold decreased by 2.23% when compared to the list price. Year over year numbers for several cities in the Inland Empire include Corona with a median sales price increase of 5% to $745,000. Last month's report showed an increase of 2%. Total days on market, 10, staying the same as last month's report. Median sales price for Eastvale increased 5% to $920,000 compared to last month's report of a decrease of 3%. Days on market moved to 11 from last month's eight. For Moreno Valley, the median sales price increased 5% to $550,000 compared to last month's 3% decrease to $525,000 year over year. Days on market increased from 12 last month to 14 this month year over year. For Riverside, median sales price remained the same at $620,000. Last month's report showed year over year decrease of 1%. Days on market were 10 days compared to last month's 11. The highest increase in median sales price was Loma Linda with a 17% increase to $606,665. Days on market at 10. Now what these numbers show is that inventory remains low with less numbers of communities having a negative median sales price and the majority of communities having between one and 17% increases. Days on market are also lower than earlier in the year, with days on market in the low teens now and being in the 30 to 40 plus days earlier in the year. The lowest days on market were Highland and Canyon Lake at seven days each. With the list to sold price declining slightly, we are seeing less overpriced homes that must do a price reduction, and the average percentage is right at 100%. Now, despite the seven plus percent interest rates for mortgages, we are still seeing impressive demand for homes. There would be more sales as a result, but low inventory is the anchor point to the market now. We are experiencing inventory that is half of our normal market. The good news is that homes are still selling with the top 10 communities having a combined sales volume last month of $763 million. Nationally, we are seeing 11,000 homes sold each and every day. Now, if you've been thinking about buying or selling real estate in 2023 or 2024, reach out to us and we can help you develop a plan that is right for you and your needs. Thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe and hit the like button. And we'll see you next time.